This is the new bike for 2016 of arguably the best sprinter of all time, Mark Cavendish. Now he's obviously joined Dimension Day to Quebec this year, and in doing so, he is having to change equipment quite majorly. He has had a very long-term relationship with the American company Specialized, with a slight deviation to Pinarello when he was at Team Sky. But it's not just the frame, which I will talk about in a minute, but also the pedals, the saddle, the bars, pretty much all the contact points. So it's gonna be interesting to see just how he gets on with this bike this year. Now the frame, as you can see, is provided by Cervelo, who have sponsored top level teams for quite some time. Now it's the S5 model. I was just talking actually to um, Rolf Aldag just a few moments ago about Mark Cavendish and if there's anything special on this bike. He's opted for the S5 here, not just because it's the most aerodynamic model that Cervelo do, but also because it is the stiffest and with the most aggressive geometry. Now Mark apparently, as you might expect, is all about putting as much power through the pedals and none of it getting wasted in the frame. So he likes something which is very stiff and very responsive and isn't too bothered about comfort. Now, along with the S5 frame, you can also see Cervelo provide that very aerodynamic seat post as well. And just at the top of it, underneath the Physique saddle, you'll be able to see the Shimano Di2 junction box. Now they've neatly put the wire behind that aero seat post. It goes in down to the frame where it of course controls all of the gears. Now talking about the saddle, he has of course changed that as well from the Specialized he's been using in recent years. Uh, Physique provide it in the form of their Arioni model at the moment, which is the long one in comparison to some of the other models. Envy provide quite a lot of the equipment on the bike, right through from the aero handlebars, which he's using here, to the stem, which is 130 millimeters and very, very stiff looking. And also this rather neat Garmin mount, which he's got here at the front. Now they've also got Envy wheels provided to the team again this year. You'll remember last year we showed you a video during the Tour de France showing how much of a choice the riders from MTN, as they were known at the time, have for each and every race. On the bike at the moment is the 6.7 wheel set, which means it's a 60 millimeter deep front wheel combined with a 70 millimeter deep back wheel, which is what you might expect here at the Dubai Tour, where it's predominantly about flat roads and of course for Mark going as fast as he possibly can. Group set is pretty much entirely Dura Ace Di2, right through from the levers here down to the front and rear mech. The cassette there, which at the moment is 11 up through to 28, but he is riding a Rotor 3D Plus crank set complete with their current power meter as well. But interestingly, he's gone over to the Q rings. So as you can see, not completely round, something I experimented in my career with as well. And that is quite interesting, considering how long he's been a pro for now, almost 10 years, or well, this is his 10th year as a professional rider. Try experimenting with something different at this point is quite interesting. Now talking of the cranks, he is using 170 millimeters in length. Now he does like to really get the cadence high very quickly when he launches his sprint. So it makes sense for him to get some crank length, which he can get onto very quickly indeed. All right, one final change is the pedals. So previously he's been using Dura Ace. Now I understand that he used to crank them up as tight as he possibly could and have the red cleats, which means there's no float at all. So apparently Speedplay have provided him some very special pedals and cleats, which make it very, very tight indeed. So that he pretty much can't have any movement in his shoes and pedals at all. Really important again for him when he's sprinting. Tacks provide both the bottles and the cages. And finally, it is Continental who provide the tubular tires in the form of their Competition Pro, both being 25 millimeters front and back. And I have verified that they are indeed 25 millimeters with my very own calipers. Now, if you would like to see that video where we talked about the choice of wheels that the MTN boys had, this year Dimension Data, of course, then you can find that just up there in the corner. On the other hand, if you would like to see a complete Pro Bike playlist, we've got that for you just down there. And to subscribe to the channel, just click where it says subscribe. It's absolutely free. Oh, and if you like this bike, give it a thumbs up. It's just down below. It's next to the thumbs down, which you should ignore. <laughs>